well, welcome to my kitchen. Today I thought I'd talk about the medical marijuana guide. And in fact, I'm going to produce a series of videos about the book, and I'm going to I'm going to answer a lot of questions uh, that have been asked about, you know, how to use medical marijuana, what should I use for, blah blah blah. And uh, so uh, I'm going to get down to it pretty soon. You know, I've been plugging the book uh, extensively at the end of my videos, but I haven't really been, been getting into uh, talking about, you know, how to use, you know, marijuana for medicinal use. And it's, a, it's important stuff that I think I should cover. Now, I'm not a doctor. I can't prescribe anything. I can't tell you what to take for any particular disease. Uh, but the thing is about medical marijuana, it doesn't really, um, uh, it doesn't really target a disease. We really don't have a disease, you know, that's just a label that the doctor gave you so he knows what medications to prescribe to you. Um, basically, doctors target the disease and they attack the disease, uh, which is the wrong way of going about it as far as I'm concerned. Now, what marijuana does is restore balance, okay? And uh, when, you know, balance is restored, your body repairs itself. Okay, that's probably my sister. I better get it. <laughs> okay, where was I? Now, marijuana corrects the balance. Um, the, the, the cannabinoids in marijuana uh, feed your endocannabinoid system. And it's your endocannabinoid system that uh, corrects the, the balance, physiolog your physiological balance, that corrects it holistically. And uh, it regulates all your internal systems. You know, your central and peripheral nervous system, your endocrine system, which uh, regulates your hormones, your immune system. Now, a lot of people into Oh, let's boost the immune system and protect yourself from, uh, you know, disease. But <coughs> you could be doing yourself more harm than good, you know, if you uh, have an overactive immune system. That's just as bad as, uh, you know, an underactive immune system. So, you know, with marijuana, what it does is regulate the system, balance it out so it's working in harmony with the rest of your body. Um, now the best way to do this is with, you know, fresh raw marijuana. You can consume like 60 times more marijuana without the, you know, narcotic effect. And you get a lot more cannabinoids into your system. And uh, when it's in its acidic form, it act, it's actually a neuroprotector. I know that from experience, uh, which is basically why I'm consuming marijuana. You know when you when you use the fresh raw when you use the fresh raw marijuana, it actually repairs your neurology, it increases your ability to learn, it increases your ability to uh, to remember. It's amazing how it works actually. Uh, when you smoke the marijuana, excuse me, it actually has the opposite effect. It impairs your ability to learn and remember. Now that may sound like a bad thing, but it's not because, you know, if you're having serious problems, uh, you're traumatized, whatever, um, you may need to forget. You, you know, you may need, you know, <coughs> uh, you know, forgetfulness is, is, is protecting you. And, uh, you know, the ability to learn, you know, some of us may have a very overactive brain, all that processing wears you down. So it's, it kind of regulates, uh, regulates your neurology. <coughs> you can either, you know, <coughs> sedate it or stimulate, you know, your brain, uh, you, whatever you need. You know, like if you're post-traumatic stress disorder, uh, you may need to forget. You know, uh, you don't want to remember stuff. You know, and it's, uh, you know, being, you know, being haunted by your trauma is. Yeah, and really reliving that trauma is not good. You know, you gotta put it behind you and move ahead. And uh, cannabinoids can help you do that by balancing out your neurology. 
and uh, putting things in, into perspective. Uh, <coughs> so, you know, smoking marijuana can be very helpful for alleviating symptoms, for relaxing you, it reduces stress. It can be an instant antidepressant. Um, you know, like 10 years ago, one in four people were dropping out of the workforce, uh, you know, due to stress-related illnesses. And, you know, if we learn how to deal with the stress of, you know, a, a very high-paced society, uh, we will be able to function much better. And, you know, smoking marijuana will, you know, enable you to do that. Of course, you don't want to go to work totally wasted. <laughs> but anyways, uh, you know, a lot of us tend to overdo it, you know. I know I do overdo it myself, you know. If I smoke one joint in the morning, I think, oh, well, that's good. If I smoke two joints, it must be twice as good, but it's not because I get too sedated and it affects my productivity. So you have to, you know, regulate your dosage. And that's one good thing about marijuana because you can take a mild dosage, you can be relaxed, you can be calm, uh, stress-free, or you can, you know, smoke a heavy dosage and get, you know, a good night's sleep, eight hours, which is also very important. So marijuana really doesn't really target any kind of disease. Um, it, it, it helps you uh, fight the disease yourself by correcting, you know, the balance. And your body is out of balance for a reason, you know. Uh, you've probably been, been eating processed food all your life or haven't been looking after yourself and now you're paying for it. Um, <coughs> but you know, eating a good diet, incorporating fresh raw marijuana into your diet is great for healing but it's also essential for preventative medicine, you know, for staying healthy. It's totally edible, all strains are different. But, uh, you know, I strongly recommend, you know, incorporating it into your diet because you need a good diet to recover as well as, you know, good medicine. Now, what to take? I mean, there's a lot of questions about that. What should I do for my dad's cancer and stuff like that? Now, I can't actually tell you, but I can tell you that... <coughs> A lot of people are using the cannabis oil to cure cancer and for serious diseases. If you have a serious problem, you should be using cannabis oil. And it should be a good quality oil. You should know the source. It should be, uh, you know, trusted, you know, respectful source. And uh, when you start using the cannabis oil, you know, you use a very small amount. You start off with, it, you know, you know. A, a, you know, a drop that's a, you know, the size of a, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, the size of, uh, you know, a grain of rice, you know, and you build up your, your dosage slowly. You know, when you're first doing this, it, it, it'll hit you hard. You know, you'll sleep and, and you need that sleep. Uh, you know, take advantage of that and, and get your rest because that's part of the healing process. After you build a resistance to the soil, it won't be so sedated if you be able to function better during the day, which is why you should start out by, you know, using this at night time before you go to bed, you know, so it doesn't impair your ability to function during the day. And, you know, you slowly work up your dosage to about, uh, <coughs> excuse me, one gram a day. Now, that's, that's a fair amount, but that's, but if you build up your dosage slowly, you'll be able to take it, excuse me. got a leaf stuck in my mouth. Okay, so if you have something like cancer, it's going to take you about 60 grams to, you know, cure the cancer. Now, if you've been <coughs> damaged by chemotherapy, radiation, it may take a little more. You may need about 80 grams of uh, cannabis oil. Uh, but I would not just stick with that. I would add the, the diet, you know, the fresh marijuana, the healthy diet, and also you need exercise. You know, not stressful exercise. I would recommend Qigong, which is something that I've been practicing for many years. I used to teach Qigong. And what it is is a, you know, a, a, an ancient healing system. 
oh, it's about 8,000 years old or more now. And uh, <coughs> you may want to Google that and get into it. You know, um, Qigong is the original art form that all other martial arts were based upon. So, <coughs> but Qigong is not a, an aggressive, you know, art form. It's a healing art form. It's very creative. And uh, I highly recommend that as, as an exercise program. Okay, so I'm going to keep it short. I'm going to produce a series of videos. I think the next video I'm going to talk about the endocannabinoid system and how it works on your body. <coughs> and I'll, I will get into a lot more stuff <coughs> that I write about in my book. And I urge you to get over to Amazon.com. It's available on Kindle and buy the book. It's uh, under $10 if you buy the ebook, $23 if you buy the uh, paperback. And uh, it will help you out, it will educate you, it will help out the program here because this is how I fund this channel. This is how I fund my research and development. I just have a private license to grow my own medication here. So uh, I'm not making millions of dollars doing this. I'm just uh, helping myself and, uh, and hopefully helping you know other people as well along the way. So get over to Amazon. Buy the book and read it, and uh, have a good day. Take care. Peace.